Hi everybody, it's Kelly Aaron and Smear here at Coldwell Banker Rocks Realty. And guess what it is? What is it? Rockstober! <laughs> <laughs> Rockstober! All month long. All month long. So yeah. today we have a couple tidbits of real estate talk, but we also have an event coming up that we want to talk about. Do you want to talk about the real estate stuff first or the let's talk about the event. stuff? The event? Yeah, let's talk okay. about the event. Oh, this event? This event. Yeah. yeah. We're having, go ahead. No, go ahead. We're having a pumpkin painting Halloween Fest night next Friday, the 21st from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. here at the office. That's right. We're going to have a bunch of pumpkins and some paint. Bring the kids, bring the family. We'll probably even have some candy to go along with it. Yeah. But yeah, just some, yeah, some candy. pumpkin yeah. decorating fun <laughs> for the whole family. Yep. And what's next? What's our topic today? We are going to talk about contingencies today. Yes because yes. they are big topics right now mm -hmm. and we just want to make sure that everyone is educated mm -hmm. on what a contingency is what types of contingencies mm -hmm. exist and kind of when they come about throughout a transaction exactly so. when you know better you do better so that's what we're here to do so what is a contingency what is a contingency? Erin, what is a contingency? Excellent question. <laughs> a contingency is, please read. An occurrence only if certain circumstances are met. So it just means that you plan on closing on a property or yeah, closing on your home or mm -hmm. selling your home. But if there are contingencies, which in our Arizona contract, typically there are going to be contingencies um, certain things have to happen in order you to, to get check. To yes, to check that box in order to move forward with said contract. Correct. Yeah. Some examples of those. You guys, that was great. You guys are right. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> so what types of contingencies are there? So we have a couple of different contingencies in real estate contracts. And if you have financing, then there is a loan contingency. Mm -hmm. Along with that goes an appraisal contingency. So who can tell us a little bit about those? Well, for example, a loan contingency. So if a buyer is getting a loan, you have to be pre-qualified with the lender. Mm -hmm. And there are certain, there's lots of steps within yes. that process, but ultimately the lender gives the final green light that the buyer is fully qualified. Mm -hmm. And if for some reason a buyer decides to go out and buy a car or maybe even buy a refrigerator prior to mm -hmm. closing on the house, that might set them over that edge right. and now they're no longer qualified, which means the contingency has not been met and therefore we can't proceed. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. So the difference then between a loan contingency and an appraisal contingency, because they both have to do with the lender in a mm -hmm. sense. Right. Uh, the appraisal contingency has to do with you, if you're getting a loan again, you get an appraisal on the property to make sure that it appraises at market value. Correct. Because banks don't want to loan more money than the house that they're gonna be issuing a loan on is worth. Yeah, so they need to protect the investment that they're giving that they're to the buyer. So that's what the appraisal, that's kind of how the appraisal protects them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So if a property does not appraise at the contract price, so if it's, below contract price, then there are a couple options. Mm -hmm. The buyer can either come up with additional cash to make up that difference, or the seller might be willing to lower to appraised value. It then becomes a negotiation at that point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or if neither party is willing or able to adjust. And meet, meet in the middle somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes the contract is canceled Hence, not fulfilling the contingency. Correct. Not right. checking the box. Not checking that box. <laughs> Another one is buyer contingency. Um, this comes into play when I want to purchase Kelly's home, but I have a home that I need to sell. First. First. So I tell Kelly, please give me till the end of October to sell my home. If I get an accepted contract on my home, I have fulfilled that part of the contingency. Correct. If I don't get an accepted offer on my home, I have not met that contingency. I can ask for an extension 
Kelly at that point has the right to say no and move on. And contract is canceled. Or I can agree and give mm -hmm. her another shot and mm -hmm. we can extend. Right. Um, or let's say she gets her house under contract, but she is not able to close mm -hmm. by the agreed upon date. That mm -hmm. is another exactly. level to <clears throat> the buyer contingency. So a lot of things that there's a lot of different complicated scenarios right. and mm -hmm. that's why hiring professional real estate yes. agents like ourselves, we can answer a lot of those questions for you. Yeah. yeah. Unmet contingencies are an opportunity to get creative and come up with our job is to come up with solutions for some of those roadblocks that we that we run into that um, can be pretty common. So again, that's that's what we're here for. Yeah, and don't forget to come and see us on Friday, October twenty first, for some pumpkin decorating and some candy <laughs> and just some good Rockstober fun. Wait, wait, wait! What's your favorite? What's your favorite Halloween candy? Well, what type are we talking about? Are we talking about like a chocolate type candy? Or are we just talking about like candy in general? Let's go chocolate. Okay. I'm kind of plain Jane. I, ooh, oh, I don't know. Gosh. Wait, I'd probably pick regular Hershey's no. or Twix. Really? Oh, there's, wait, there's 100 regular grand. Hershey's it doesn't have to be in this bowl. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have to be this one. <laughs> I'd say 100 grand Hershey's or Twix. But I see my favorite. Oh, yeah. Almond Joy? Almond Joy. Yeah. Okay. That's what I want. Or I Twix. Don't, I don't know if my Or Twix. Mm -hmm. or if Twix. it's not chocolate, I say, I like like taffy stuff. So like yeah. Skittles, mm -hmm. Starburst, um, what are the things that you got me hooked on? Twizzlers. Yeah, I know this because I have a pumpkin full of that candy that's gone and I haven't <laughs> had any. <laughs> oh, you didn't get my IOU post it? <laughs> it's totally fine. You just don't say trick or treat. It confuses me. My favorite is a midnight Milky Way. Midnight Milky Way? I just took a bite of that and I didn't like it and I threw it away. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, Midnight Milky Way. I or, smell a segment coming on. Or guys. good old fashioned <laughs> Snickers. Oh, Snickers is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Well, cool. Okay. We'll see you guys next time. Happy Rocks Tober. Yes. Happy Rocks Tober. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.